Uh, dear Aaron Fernandez, welcome to Turkey. It's a pleasure and pr privilege to have you here in Turkey and at Çankaya University. Uh, before we start our uh, interview with you, let me give some uh, brief information uh, about your academic career and past uh, for those uh, who will watch this video and benefit uh, from it. Uh, Aaron Fernandez started studying at mathematics at Cambridge University at the age of 15 in 2010. Uh, he was the youngest to attend the university for more than 200 years. Uh, after gra uh, graduating with distinction from Cambridge University, Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics in 2014. He started his PhD in the same department and is about to finish his PhD. Among his current research interests are fractional calculus and analytic number theory. Yes, Mr. Fernandez, let me go with the first question. Could you please tell us what attracted you to the field of mathematics at such a relatively earlier age? Well, this is difficult to answer precisely because I started at such an early age. So ever since I can remember, I've been interested in mathematics and also encouraged by my parents and pushed towards mathematics. But I can talk about what I find appealing now and in the time that I can remember about mathematics, which is mostly it's it's certainty. In many fields of study, you might have different theories about something and one is not more correct than the other. Even in scientific fields such as physics, theories about what the universe looks like. But in mathematics, once you've proved a statement, you know that it's true and nobody can then come and say maybe it isn't true. So there's this certainty in the field. But as well as this very rigorous certainty, it also has a great beauty and these are what I see as the two sides of mathematics. You First, you use the beauty to, to come up with an idea, to see something that should be true, because that's how, how everything fits together. And then you use this rigor to prove it, and then you know that it's true. So there's the inspiration and the proof, and they're both part of the same whole. Yeah, very interesting. And uh, perhaps we can uh, underline two keywords here, the first one being the certainty and the second one being the beauty of mathematics that uh, influenced you most perhaps and uh, some familial uh, effect and the role of your family uh, attracted y your attention to this field of study. And uh, my second question, uh, we know that currently you are doing your PhD uh, at the same department in, uh, in Cam at Cambridge. Uh, can you tell us uh, what made you visit Turkey and Çankaya University particularly? And what, what are your impressions about the university in Turkey and uh, the university together perhaps? Well, in my particular field of mathematics, which you mentioned earlier, fractional calculus, is one that's not very much studied in, in Cambridge or even in the United Kingdom. And Turkey is, in fact, a, 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 something of a worldwide center in this field. As many people who study it here, it's much better known. And in particular, Chiang University has experts in this field. So I've already been, even before I came here, I've been in contact with these experts in fractional calculus working together with them and I wanted to visit partly for a, a closer working relationship with them and also because I visited Turkey before and I liked the country yeah. and I wanted to, it was good to have an opportunity to visit again. You're spending a couple of weeks, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, at Chankaya University. Yes, two weeks. And uh, but uh, as far as I know, that you stay in the city center. And did you get uh, an, an opportunity to see the around what what what's going on in the city center, I or do you, do you like the, uh, the crowded places or this more lively or whatever full of people? 
Uh, I, personally, I prefer to be in more quiet places yeah. and smaller... Which is not surprising. <laughs> yeah, Cambridge is a small city. Ankara is very big and very busy. And I mean, the city centre is, is pretty and it has nice buildings. And, but I think I prefer this. This is one of the things I like about Shankaya, actually, is that the campus out here is very secluded from the city. And you can see the countryside around and it's much more beautiful. And this is the kind of place that I could imagine working in, being in a department like this and seeing nature around. Even if it's travel, a long way to travel into the city, they have, there's a good bus service and so on. And This is not among our, my questions, but uh, when I read your short bio, uh, I've seen that uh, you are interested in literature, particularly English literature as well. And uh, this is my field of study. And uh, now that uh, I have you here in the studio, then perhaps I can ask you a couple of questions about literature. Uh, do you have a specific period of English literature in your mind as, uh, as being your favorite uh, field of reading, let's say? No, not a particular period. I enjoy everything from Shakespeare from 400 years ago through 19th century literature like Edgar Allan Poe, Thomas Hardy, through to Tolkien and the modern day. So not any particular... You have a wide range of, uh, in a way, uh, reading or literary periods. Of, and you, you, as far as I know, you are interested in fantasy literature as well. Yes, fantasy Fan fantastic. Is my yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, perhaps as a last question, uh, could you please tell us uh, about your future plans? Uh, you're about to finish your PhD, and after finishing it, what do you have in mind? Uh, how would you go on with your studies? Uh, will you be staying at the same university, or do you have other plans in your mind? At this point, I don't know. I'm still maybe a year, maybe a bit less away from finishing my PhD. So I'm trying to keep my options open as much as possible. So I'm making applications both for the same university and I'm also hoping to apply to other universities. And one possibility, definite possibility for me, is to move to Turkey and work here at some point in the future. Because, really? Oh. As I say, it's a, it's a world centre for my area of mathematics, so in that sense it makes more sense for me to work here than work in Cambridge where I'm the only person studying this. Yeah, and uh, it, it's a, a great news for us because if you come to Turkey and even if you join Çankaya University it would be an enormous uh, strength uh, on behalf of the, you know, uh, in, for the mathematics department especially. And uh, we will be very happy to see you here. And thank you very much, Aaron, uh, for this brief uh, interview. I hope uh, you're going to have a wonderful future. Thank you. Thank you.